This may be the most incredible film you will ever see. I walked through a county courthouse square. And on a park bench, an old man was sitting there. I said, your old courthouse is kind of run down. He said, oh, that'll do for our little town. I said, your old flagpole's kind of leaned a little bit, and that's a ragged old flag you got hanging on it. He said, have a seat. And I sat down. Is this the first time you've come to our little town? I said, I think it is. He said, I don't like to brag, but we're kind of proud of that ragged old flag. You see, we got a little hole in that flag there when Washington took it across the Delaware. And it got powder burned the night Francis Scott Key set up watching it right in, uh, say, can you see? Got a little rip in New Orleans with Packenham and Jackson tugging at it, seems. It almost fell at the Alamo beside the Texas flag, but she waved on them. It got cut with a sword at Chancellorsville. Got cut again at Shiloh Hill. There was Robert E. Lee, Beauregard, and Bragg, and the south wind blew hard on that ragged old flag. On Flanders Field in World War I, she took a bad hit from a Bertha gun. She turned blood red in World War II. She hung limp and low by the time that one was through. She was in Korea, Vietnam. She went where she was sent by her Uncle Sam. The Native American Indians, the blacks, the yellow, the white, all shed red blood for the stars and stripes. And in her own good land here, she's been abused. She's been burned, dishonored, denied, refused. And the very government for which she stands is scandalized throughout the land. And she's getting threadbare. She's wearing kind of thin. But she's in good shape for the shape she's in. Because she's been through the fire before. And she can take a whole lot more. So we raise her up every morning. We bring her down slowly every night. We don't let her touch the ground and we fold her up right. On second thought, I guess I do like to brag. Because I'm mighty proud of that ragged old flag.